Hello everyone, this is um, another update video. I've been so goddamn productive. Yes, I have. Oh, and this is probably my last video in London uh, with little Milo. Um, just because <laughs> I'm finishing dog sitting in a day or two and everything. But I wanted to just do some points and stuff and what I've learned from dog sitting. I've never owned a dog or a cat. <laughs> he looks like fist. I've never uh, owned a dog or a cat. I've owned um, fish and a rabbit. Uh, two rabbits. But what I've learned from looking after a dog for two weeks is that they lower your depression crazy amounts um, <laughs> because they just do silly stuff and they are just ridiculous at times. And it just, it makes you kind of feel that the, you you have more of a responsibility and you've got someone like well, looking out and wanting like to have food and stuff and you've always got someone when you come home, like someone comes over to like wagging its tail and stuff. So I mean, I've, I've learned that dogs are amazing creatures. And they're just so full of energy and so hyperactive, but at the same time they can be just cuddly and lovely. So if anyone does want a dog, I will completely be like, oh my god, you should get one. Um, one day when I can have my own place, I will get my little dog. I don't know if I'll get a smaller dog than a larger dog. I've learned that larger dogs are uh, pretty hard work. <laughs> um, yeah, small dogs are quite cute. I've also learned this week that I've done just stuff. All my pro productivity has like gone gone up, and I don't maybe think it's because obviously I'm in a different environment, so I can kind of adjust the schedule. And I think it's a good thing, and it, it kind of gives me something to work on and something to strive for. And if anyone ever feels like they're in a, a kind of like like you know you're in a rut and stuff just maybe have a holiday or anything hello hi hi there um maybe have a few days out and stuff and kind of get in a different environment because i was in a funk for quite a long time and i got to the point where i didn't really realize i was in a funk anymore but <laughs> i'm sorry he's just so adorable let me show you He's got my boot. He just loves stealing it and and taking it upstairs and, and running away with it. <laughs> it's it's just fun for him. Um, but yeah, that's what I can really say. And uh, things I have learned this week is that I need to kind of be more open to other people's opinions about religion and beliefs. And I'm a very much a control freak with different things. So everything has to be like a certain way to me, otherwise I feel really worried and scared and stuff. But I just need to kind of not like hold back on that. Because that is like one of the worst mood killers. I mean, like quite honestly, it's one of the, the things that does stunt any growth, any personal growth. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things I, I, I need to learn to be accountable for. So yeah, that's what I've learned today. And this video is like four minutes long. And it's not going to be edited. It's just going to be a raw take. Because that's how awesome I am. Thank you for once again checking out my videos and being awesome. And if you do like the stream. Because it is a stream, isn't it? Anyway, if you do like this video, please leave a comment and stuff. If anyone else has been in a funk. Try to get out the funk and stuff. And yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. And it's just me talking my mind. I'm going to end the stream with him. End the video with him just nibbling. On my shoe. He's not gonna do it now. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you, um, and I'll see you guys again soon with more Wolf the Mung the Wolf Among Us and everything else. And uh, things are hopefully going in an upward direction. <laughs>